Hello everyone! Today I decided to do the clan gen challenge. I created my clan and spent one year with them and I am now going to tell you about them and their shenanigans. During a huge fire, Crick Clan's territory was destroyed. They had to move away but kept their name of Crick Clan as an heritage. When boss leader and deputy died in the fire, it was up to Starkland itself to decide who the next leader would be. They ended up choosing young Luxstar as leader. So, first, um, let's start with Luxstar. Luxstar is a compassionate uh, and a great fighter. He's very young, uh, only 36 moons old. Uh, I do think that when their territory was destroyed, uh, a lot of the the older clanmates were lost or died, meaning that the only cats left for important positions were very young, barely warriors. Um, I really see him as some kind of a big himbo. He is overall nice with everyone, but seems to lack brain cells. He gets along with everyone except with Lichen Pelt. Uh, he, he didn't do anything noteworthy. He likes sharing praise with clanmates and seems well liked by the clan. Next up is Primrose Nose, the deputy. Primrose Nose is young, maybe a bit too young. He's only 38 moons. He is confident and smart and seems to get along with everyone except kids. For unknown reasons, um, Primrose Nose keeps getting into arguments with every kid he sees. I think this is due to Primrose Nose not having great teenagehood due to their whole territories burning down and having to immediately become deputy. Primrose Nose is also big for it. His current target is current Feather, and every time Primrose Nose keeps fronting with him, uh, they're, they're just very cute. Currently, Primrose Nose is injured with a mangled lead due to a fox attack. Next up is Moonfruit. Moonfruit is one of the few older cats uh, who survived the fire. She was a warrior, but uh, lately she had to become a medicine cat uh, when Green Cop uh, struck the clan. She is charismatic and a great hunter. She regrets her life as a warrior but will help her clan no matter what. She has a lot of friends in the clan, including Primrose Nose, who she really just treats like her son. There are currently two medicine cat apprentices, um, and that we will la see later, and Moodfruit doesn't get along with any of them. Maybe Primrose knows and her just keep gossiping about the apprentices all day, who knows. The second medicine cat is Burrowmark. They are non-binary, careful and an excellent fighter. They, just like Moonfruit, they were a warrior before the fire. They had an extensive knowledge about herbs and a great connection to Starkland, as they keep receiving dreams and omens. They were forced in their current position of medicine cat because no one had such a knowledge on plants. They had to teach Moonfruits about herbs when Green Calf struck the clan and when Bureau Marks himself were not able to cure their clients anymore. Bureau Mark is the parent of Gold Power, Mopple Power and Stone Power. They are a great parent of, for each of their kids. Um, just like Moonfruit, Bureau Marks are struggle getting along with one of the Medicine Cat apprentices, specifically Mouse Power. Morpow is Moonfruit's apprentice and is training to become a medicine cat. He is adventurous, he was abandoned uh, with his brother Mousepaw and his sister Cloudpaw. They were taken in by the clan um, and a young warrior, Tissel Spirit, decided to take them in as his own kids. Morpaw has a difficult relationship with his mentor Moonfruit. He is however very close to his brother and sister. Then comes Mousepaw, the thoughtful medicine cat apprentice. He is Morpaw and Cloudpaw's brother. He also happens to have difficulty, difficult relationship with his mentor Burlmark. For some odd reason, Mousepaw is disliked by a good number of cats. As a kitten, they were annoying and would keep bumping into cats all the time. Maybe they just need time to mature. Now comes Crestoft. She is one of the oldest cats. She is bold and smart, but refused to take on the role of leader despite her experience. She gets along with everyone and enjoys spending time with her kids. She got pregnant at some point and she refused to say who is the other parent. She gave birth to one single kid, Jasmine Kit, uh, who was a very troublesome little kitten. 
She let it slip that the parent uh, was a loner. She is currently slowly easing herself into becoming an elder. Lincoln Pelt is strict and a great speaker. She got pregnant with Bromar's kid despite them not having any kind of attraction to each other. She gave birth to Gold Pow, Sun Pow, and Maple Pow. Currently, Lincoln Pelt is a good friend to Bromark and they co-parent quite well. She is slowly developing feelings for Moonfruit, one of the medicine cats. She likes everyone in the clan, including Luxstar. She is friendly. She is the friendliest and most open cat towards outsider. Current Feather is a very popular cat. He is bold and a great hunter, and also almost became deputy. He is Primrose Nose's partner and a well-liked member of the clan. He spends a lot of time with younger cats, talking about his extensive knowledge in hunting. He enjoys offering his help mainly to the medicine cats and his deputy. Ragged Fur is a very young warrior. He was just an apprentice when Luxor became leader. He is sneaky but a fantastic hunter. He seems to be attracted to Luxor. He seems to be quite reserved and likes to keep to himself, but he is slowly warming up to current feather, Thither's Thither Spirit, Crestoft, and Moonfruit. He seems to like his new apprentice, Maple Pile, a lot and puts a lot of his trust in her. Thither Spirit is, a, is as young as Ragged Fur. He is childish and a good teacher. He is the one who found Mole Pile, Mouse Pile, and Cloud Pile and took them in as his own kids. He is trying to be as good of a father as he can be. He seems to get along with a lot of the kids, maybe his childish nature helps him bond with kittens better. He is always eager to spend time with the kids and even brings prey specifically for the kids. Corbyro is a cat who was taken in the clan uh, a few months ago. He was found hurt and left behind by his two legs. He is careful and a good fighter. After being betrayed by his two legs, he is very hesitant to open up to other cats. Currently, he only talks to Lincoln Pelt, Current Feather and Moodfruit. He learns quick and, and well, and became a great element for the clan very quickly despite his very young age. Gold Pile is Lincoln Pelt and Burrow's Mark's son. He looks exactly like Burrow Mark. He is a warrior apprentice and his mentor is Thistle Spirit. He is not very close to his siblings, however, he loves both of his parents. He is playful and would sp spend his whole kittenhood playing mossball. Stone Power is a troublesome warrior apprentice. He is Lincoln Pelt and Burrow Mark's son. His mentor is Luckstar and he is very proud of that. He was a he was quite a noisy kid, and this gave him the reputation of being difficult to deal with. He gets on the nerve of older cats, such as Moonfruit. <laughs> he isn't very close to his siblings, but he loves his parents. Under his confidence, Stone Power can be very insecure. He already cried because he felt like he was a failure. Thankfully, Luckstar confronted him. Mapapa is a strict warrior apprentice. She does her very best with every task given to her. She is Ragged Fur's apprentice and Bureau Marks and Lincoln Pell's daughter. She is a kid who looks the most like Lincoln Pelt and inherited her strict trait. She gives to herself a lot and has trouble making friendship outside of her family circle. Cloudbow is Thistle Spirit's last adopted kid. She is a sneaky war apprentice. She was given to Primrose Nose as the two were both very energetic. However, as they don't get along well for now, Cloudbow is very jealous of her mentor. Maybe because she wished she was as confident, or maybe because she wants to be deputy later, so who knows. Jasmine Kid is Kristoff's only kid. He's a little bully who keeps going after older kids. He dislikes both Maple Pow and Mouse Pow and keeps making fun of their insecurities. He seems to be quite jealous of them and is eager to start his apprenticeship. Sun Kid is a noisy little kid. She is universally disliked for that. She is the daughter of Rabbit Chomp a cat who was found hurt with her three kids at the border. After Rabbit Chomp's death, Sunkit became increasingly noisy. She might have troubles to deal with her mother's death. Rootkit is a quiet kitten. They're Sunkit's brother and Rabbit Chomp's son. He's quite attached to their siblings and also get along with very well with the medicine cat. They are universally liked by the clan for being a quiet, cute little foible. And finally, we get to Dazzle Kid. She is Root Kid and Sun Kid's sister, and she is Rabbit Chomp's kid. She is daring and always full of energy. Her and her siblings always get into weird shenanigans around the camp, and she keeps making plans to escape and go explore the territory. She keeps arguing with Primrose Nose, the deputy, and feels very jealous of him. 
for the dead cats now. As I already had 19 living cats to draw, I decided to not draw the dead cats, uh, as they also didn't do anything noteworthy for most of them. So we start with Briar Speckle, uh, the Stockton Guide. She was a warrior before dying. She might even have been the deputy of Creek Clan when she was alive. We then have Red Blotch, who is the next medicine cat from another clan. She was found almost dead near the border. She was brought back to clan in hope of healing her, but she died quickly of her injuries. Rabbit Chomp, despite dying two moons after being accepted in the clan, has quite a story. She is the next leader and said she returned her nine lives looking for something different. However, her kids, Sun Kit, Rook Kit, and Dazzle Kit are all half clan. Was Rabbit Chomp banished from the clan after giving birth to three half clan kids? She died of her broken back before giving any answers. Bluebell Spot was an old warrior. Um, she didn't really had the she didn't really had the time to do anything not worth this year except mentoring Tissel Spirit. She was killed by a rogue. And that is all for Crickland for this year. Um, don't hesitate to tell me who is your five favorite cat and, and why. Um, I hope my English was um, understandable, as it is not my first language. <laughs> um, if you liked the video or the drawings, um, don't hesitate to like uh, the video and, well, if you like the content, uh, maybe even subscribe. Uh, I'll see you. I will see you in uh, the next video and goodbye.